So guys, when I am shopping around and I pop into garden centers and I find something that's sexy and gorgeous, well, you know it's just gotta come home. And there are a couple of things here that had to come home with me. And the one is this beautiful pot. Look at it. Oh, black, gorgeous, fiberglass, lightweight. Look at that. Uh, makes a real added bonus compared to the concrete ones that become really difficult once you plant them up to move them around. More importantly, beyond this gorgeous, sexy pot, which I love, it's low, it's got this fat lip, um, which really works for me. And so, been thinking about what do we do? How do we combine this? And this is what I want to use. Oof. Look at me. <laughs> Isn't she absolutely gorgeous? Um, this is called a Neurogelia. So, Neurogelia is also part of the bromeliad family. Neurogelias are grown more for their foliage rather than their flowers. So come and have a look a bit closer over here. That's it, right in here, right in here, there we go. Do you see the water inside there? Now, that is where Neurogelias store their water. All you've got to make sure to keep this guy alive is that there's always a bit of water in there. You can allow it to drain all the way through, and I would recommend that because most times people kill their Neurogelias from too much water. In front of me here, I've got the other beautiful guy that I want to use, and I want to use it because simply of that contrast, you know, it's it's the, the, the mono, the black with the black, and the striking contrast against this beautiful Neurogelia here. Um, this is a very big word, so stay with me, I'm gonna break it up. It's called Ophiopogon Japonicus Black Dragon. Ah, black dragon. So we're gonna stick with black dragon. Basically, it's a black mondo grass. Um, very slow growing, doesn't require too much water. If you overwater it, it's going to rot. So kind of like these guys are going to be good bed buddies, right? They can all grow in a lot of light. In full sun, these guys tend to get little dark edges over here. So the edges start going a bit brown, and that is normally a sign of too much sun. So in a well-lit spot, this combination is going to be perfect. Because remember, Neurogelias live in the forests, okay, so you're getting filtered light. The same with the black dragon, we're gonna be able to use this combination beautifully. So, there we have it, pot, two plants, that's it, and I've got a secret little additive that I'm gonna put into it, but I'm gonna keep you in suspense, because we're gonna add that right towards the end. First up though, have you noticed? The pot has got no holes. Big problem for me. Um, if, however, you were just going to put some pots in here and make pretty, you know, and put some bark around or something, that's fine. But then every time you've got a water, you've got to take these plants out. And generally people don't do that and they just keep watering and keep watering. And so the level just rises and rises and you end up killing the plant. So that's why I always recommend guys, just take a bit of extra time and let's get those holes drilled in there so that we are all safe. All right, we've got a scrap piece of wood which we're placing on our workbench. Of course, if you didn't mind drilling holes all into your workbench, you don't need to bother about that piece of wood. Pop our pot on top. I've got a universal drill bit here, and we're just going to drill in three or four holes into the base just to allow for good drainage. So here we go. Right, there we have it, guys. Holes in. Perfect. Prep work is done there, let's put it aside and let's get to our mixture. Now, come along and let's have a look and go through all the little bits that we're going to need. I've got some potting soil in my trug. We're going to pimp this quite nicely just to add a bit of extra vuma into it. Um, I'm adding in probably about two cupfuls of vermiculite. In here is going some palm peat. Remember, palm peat starts out on a block and you add five liters of water and it turns out to be this beautiful, lightweight, friable product that adds a lot of air pockets into our soil mixture. So into here, probably about six handfuls. Next up, what I want to add is a handful or two of beautiful organic fertilizer pellets. Gonna mix it in, it's gonna be there, so as our plants need the nutrition, they're going to suck it up. My final pimping is this beautiful stuff here. 
and it might look like, like I don't know, like little licorice pellets or something, but this stuff is packed full of goodness. This is a basic form of carbon. We're going to add that. You're going to be using this every time you plant. And guys, with this carbon, what it does is it helps with moisture retention. It releases nutrients. So if there were nutrients in the soil that couldn't be released before or they were just in the wrong format, the carbon helps to build that and let them go. So making your soil much healthier. So let's get it over here and let's get mixing. Okay, looking good guys, looking good. Let's get this to one side. Let's bring our pot back and we're going to start off with popping in some of our drainage pellets. Nice, spread that around the base so we're not blocking those holes and we, it's also going to help with the filtration. <laughs> Alrighty, and let's get it into the edges right here. Take your hand and firm it down. Lovely. Okay, so I filled up just about halfway. Now, when I take this Neregelia out, guys, you're going to see a lot of the soil is going to fall away because, as I mentioned, they are simply epiphytes. They really don't need all the soil to live in. So I've got this bin over here so that I don't make a huge mess, but give it a squeeze, and then we're going to take him, grab it by its neck, turn it over, and see all the water coming out. Look at that. There, out it's well. It's pouring out, and amazingly, quite a lot. Um, and then let's do this. Grab the baby and just give it a bit of a yank. Look at that. Remember, as I said, that just comes off. And you can start teasing this out here because you'll notice that the root system is actually quite small compared to the size of the plant. Now let's take this beautiful baby, come along with me, and let's pop him in here. Make a little well for him. Oh man, look at that, how it comes alive. Nice. Okay, let's sort out this Mondo. Um, and what we're going to do is exactly the same. Give it a squeeze, give it a squeeze. Pop it out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And let's tease off a bit of this excess soil. And we're going to pop this baby in just as he is. Right, come along with me. And we're going to pop him in right over here. Now watch what happens as soon as we add this texture in. Ooh, you're so lovely. And let's get this other baby in. And right over here. And this little guy, I want to pop him right in the back here. Ooh -hoo. Let's fill up the gaps. How are we looking? Yummy. Right, take our trowel. And let's get into all these little gaps over here. Pop it in. All right, folks, there we go. Notice, please, that we have not put the potting soil and filled it right up to the top. You don't want that. This is the area that you want to be able to play with. So you need to be able to fit your hand in there flat with a space above there. Really important. Okay, so now we're going to get to the playing part. And this is where I'm going to use my secret weapon, and that is this beautiful bit of slate over here. So if you can't get hold of slate like this, you can just go and get a little piece of slasto, um, or you can simply just buy one towel, which you could then use. But what I do need to make sure that we're all safe is a little cloth to put on top of it, because now if all else fails, use the hammer to smack it. So block your ears, here we go. Gorgeous. Okay, and big pieces like this is also perfect. And let's start putting them in. Here we go. Starting from the front, all we want to do, pop a few in there, let them lie over each other to form. Um, you could simply just throw them in here. And you're going to get that lovely contrast that we're looking for. But ideally, we want to just make sure that we've covered all the soil. All right, we just need a paintbrush to clean this little baby up. Oh man, and I can't wait to spritz this because when we spritz it, oh, it's going to come alive, darling. And let's get my little spritz bottle, which is over here. Let's give it a little spritz. And look when we 
get on the slate. Look how it comes alive. Remember to get into the hole, the vase, the urn. There it is. There goes the water. And in terms of watering and care, guys, that's all you're going to need to do is a bit of a spritzing once a week will be more than enough. Remember, this is going to go in a well-lit area. You want to be able to allow some natural light in, but not bright sunlight. Bright, direct sunlight will burn these little guys. And that, of course, is not the idea. But there we have it. One times modern contemporary pot looking extra hot. And if this was a gorgeous being, I'd give it 10 out of 10.